Welcome to video 6 for this unit on Introduction to Quadratic Functions. In this video, we're going to focus on vertex form. Sometimes the expressions that define quadratic functions are written in vertex form. For example, the function f defined by f of x equals the quantity x minus 3 squared plus 4 is in vertex form and is represented as this graph. The vertex form can tell us about the coordinates of the vertex of the graph of a quadratic function. The expression, the quantity x minus 3 squared, reveals that the vertex has x coordinate 3, and the constant term of 4 reveals its y coordinate. Notice that in the squared expression, the quantity x minus 3 squared has a positive coefficient. and the graph opens upward. This means that the vertex 3, 4 represents the minimum function value. In general, the vertex form of a quadratic expression in x is a times the quantity x minus h squared plus k, where a, h, and k are constants, and a is not zero. The graph of the quadratic function opens upward when the coefficient a is positive and opens downward when a is negative. Why does the function f take on its minimum value when x is 3? Here is one way to explain it. Squaring any number that is not zero results in a positive number. This means that when x is not equal to 3, the function value will always be greater than when x equals 3. So the function f has a minimum value at x equals 3. This table shows some values of the function for some values of x. Notice that the output is the least when x equals 3, and it increases both as x increases and as it decreases. Here is the graph of negative 2 times the quantity x plus 4 squared. Notice that the squared term has a negative 2 as its coefficient. The function value is 0 when x equals negative 4. For any other value of x, the function is less than 0 because it will be a positive value multiplied by negative 2. This means that the function h has its maximum value when x equals negative 4. This reasoning also shows why a negative coefficient here makes the parabola open downwards. Here is a graph of y equals x squared. Its vertex is at 0, 0. Adding a constant term 12 gives y equals x squared plus 12 and raises the graph by 12 units. Its vertex is at 0, 12. Replacing x squared with the quantity x plus 3 squared shifts the graph three units to the left, and the vertex is now at negative 3, comma, 0. We can also shift a graph both horizontally and vertically. Let's start again by looking at the graph of y equals x squared. The graph that represents y equals the quantity x plus 3 squared plus 12 will look like that for y equals x squared, but it will be shifted 12 units up and 3 units to the left. Its vertex is at negative 3, comma, 12. The graph representing the equation y equals negative the quantity x plus 3 squared plus 12 has the same vertex at negative 3, comma, 12. 
but because the squared term is multiplied by a negative number, the graph is flipped over so that it opens downward. Thank you for watching video 6 of 6 for this unit on Introduction to Quadratic Functions.